Nope. Well, if you weren't going out with my daughter, it might sound funny. But there's something about the thought of you near her that makes me lose my sense of humour. Cheyenne's a wonderful woman. She's turned my life around. Don't use my daughter to make you feel better about yourself. I don't think that's how Cheyenne sees it. Steve. I'm a man of the world. I know it's nice to feel flesh with a bit of spring in it. But society has taboos for a reason. And that reason is so saggy-assed old burnouts like you don't get their hand on a wet dream like my daughter. I know this must be hard to accept. What I find hard to accept is you sit there pretending you don't know who I am. I don't know you. South Shore Secondary Modern. 1970, 77, right? Yeah. You were there too. We were at the same school. Now you're poking my daughter. And I'm trying not to break a rib laughing at the coincidence. I don't remember you. I've changed. Well, I think I remember a name like Ripley Holden. Oh, well, I wasn't Ripley Holden then. Who were you? Someone else. Have you got a pen? Now, there's a name you might remember. What you should know is that Ripley Holden is a ton more messed up than this boy. With a burning ulcer. All right, all right. Give me some room, would you, Chantel? Rope, you need a man. Good seeing two will do you more good than liver salt. <laughs> oh, I thought I said this last night. Can't buy a bastard thing in this country. Detective Inspector Peter Carlyle, North Lakes Constabulary. That boyish looking creature is DC Blythe. Just can't get me head around this. I mean, why is this happening to me? Why now? Mm. It's a full blown mystery, sir. That's why I'm here. Do I know you at all? You one of all brides locked? No, no, I'm no, I'm not locally. Called me in because they're overstretched. Sort of like an emergency plumber, but less well paid. So uh, you found the body? I opened the door. Go over to the arm, start putting in the code, then I notice it's not on. And then, there he is, in all his glory. Do you recognise him? Never seen him before in my life. Do you want to take another look? Has anybody got a Rennie on them? I have a very nervous tummy, and this has set it off. Funnily enough, somewhere. Never leave home without antacids. <sighs> Keep them, I'm taking kaolin and morphine on a trial basis. No, I definitely don't know him. Why would anybody do this? Hey, I just... You know, I, I, I locked up last night and I opened up this morning. Hmm. So how did he get in here? We're filing it as a suspicious death for now, just to keep the paperwork in order. Suspicious? It's miraculous. He got through a locked door, tripped the alarm, and then killed himself. What makes you think he killed himself? I don't. I was making a joke. Ah, Freud would say that your jokes revealed a truth buried in your subconscious. Oh, what you know? A copper who's read a book. Well, if I'd read two books, maybe I'd run an amusement arcade. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know about that. I run a family entertainment centre. And I'm a crime citizen interface consultant. 
Hey, political correctness strikes again. Hey, you know what? I get chinky lads down here all the time and they tell me kung fu jokes. We'll always find new insults, prejudices, very inventive like that. I try. Hey, you know what he's done, don't you? He's hid behind the dance stage when I'm locking up, tried to rob the slots, got himself electrocuted. Well, oh, thanks for sorting that out for us. Well, he looked the time, didn't he? You know, hair like that. Well, I'll do everything I can to get you open again as soon as possible. What, you're closing me down? Uh, just till forensics are happy. Oh, no, look, look, uh, I know it's a tragic loss and everything, but I've got the biggest deal of me life riding on this arcade. Look, hey, you can read about it in here. Thanks. I think I know where you're coming from. So, uh, what's the arcade chap like? A prick. A guilty prick? A prick has no conscience. Didn't your father tell you anything? His story seems a little unlikely. Acquire an ID on the body, go through the CCTV from the pubs and clubs, talk to witnesses, the gruelling but necessary slog that makes our police force the envy of the world. What are you going to do? I'll start with Ripley's wife. I'm good with wives. A dead man? Just there, on the floor. Dead as Southport he was. Six foot from the kiddies' rise. How sick is that? That is awful. Who was he? I don't know. Neither did the police. I think some deadbeat or other. Oh, I'd be a deadbeat, that's right. You're about to close the arcade. How long for? So what do they think? The coppers, they got any ideas? Have they, heck. They'll just tit around for a few days and file it away. Gotta look like they're earning the taxpayers' shilling, haven't they? Cheyenne? Love? with me by text. 